caps lock is working you see green let me see how i show you how can i show you there and that's my plane folder so that was the only thing now my my and let me show you the values before remember it was one 2.2 it went to 2.2 2.5 and went low to 1.7 and it was the same 20 volts right now it's the same it was 19 something so nothing was consuming i think now because the screen is on we got the 2.7 amps and 18.95 volt Hey, what's up guys? This is one from Engineering Rumac Services and today we have another repair. I have here, this is a A1708 MacBook Pro 2017 with water damage issue. Mm -hmm. The product of this computer, they brought it to me, to us, I mean, and my wife, she already did the basic uh, process, the diagnostic, and the computer's not powered now. De préstame uno de los testers, USB, de los DC. No consigo el mío. Uh-huh. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we are going to test the computer. What's my problem? And then I'll show you. Okay. So the computer looks like it's powering on right now. Let me see if we have any sign. So I have 20 volts and two amps. The computer's doing nothing right now. Hmm. Let me connect the keyboard so let me check i wasn't expecting that voltage i thought that this was a regular five volts and maybe 300 amps but it's not i'll show you in a bit let me connect these flexes let me see if my fan is moving and i don't think so I have 20 volts and 1.9 amps. Let me see if I push power. I have any reaction? Nope. Okay, so nothing on the screen, nothing with the fan. You see? And how you can see, I have 19.15 volts. And come on, there you go and 1.75 amps, and it's still no power. CPU is not crazy overheating. So actually, CPU is not powering on at all. It's where I have all that amps. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you everything that we can see on this board that is damaged. Sorry for the camera. This is one connector of over here. Oof, this is ugly. Water, water spill, water spill. You think there's nothing close to the CPU? It's nothing. The CPU, that's the most sensitive part of this A1708. In these boards, when when if you put one drop, one give me one second. I have an issue with that camera. Okay, there you go. One drop, just one drop of water close to the CPU is gone. It's very hard. I would say every time I have with my screwdriver, every time I have a i seventeen o eight with with water close to the CPU. Computer doesn't work. CPU is some lines are too low. Almost shorted. Let me. The turnover for you. 
Precisamente así, como me digo. And, and okay, so those lines are too short, too low, I mean, and CPU doesn't work. So right now, let's take the, the board out and let's figure what else is damaged. Let's fix it and let's hold it for the logic board to work. Uh, there you go. Okay. That's one side. Let's check this. The other side. What we have over here. This area is good. Ports are good. This side, let me check the other side. Yes, they're good. And everything over here looks very good. Okay, no issues. No visible issues on this side so far. So my problems are here and here only then and let me tell you we already did ultrasonic on this logic board and this is how it came out so imagine how bad it was i'm a little concerned about the wi-fi they're very sensitive we can always replace it but they're very sensitive okay so let's just start to work on this the first thing I'm going to start with the connector. We're going to clean the connector. We're going to check the patch. Remove. I don't think we need this. This for now. Let's clean it first. Okay. Don't make it seem it's all right. Put over here and my. I forget to turn on. My. Two soldering irons. I have a regular one, it's a welder, and then I have a hackle that I use for the micro soldering pen. And I need both. Okay. Now, over here. That's ugly. And let me remove the hard drive out. Let me remove it. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna solder in, and I don't want to create any issue in the hard drive if the hard drive is good. In case if good, we don't know if it's good. I hope it's good. There you go. Okay. 
it's good over here looks good okay maybe we're lucky or hard it, these hardest are very sensitive and maybe we're lucky and the harder is good okay let's keep going now let's clean the bottom part I'm gonna have to compare pads if I have like open lines or pads too low they're gonna beep in dire mode I have to compare with another bore and see if there's any damage one I believe so they're gonna be a couple maybe patch to fix or ICs or resistor or capacitor because of the behavior of the computer or maybe Everything is going to be good about the, after the clean. I hope so. Almost never happens, but I opt. I hope so. Okay. Now we're going to use a little bit flux. And we're going to apply a little bit of heat. In my soldering station. Just a little bit. Not too much because I don't want to burn anything. Just want to remove all the dirt. That could be under, a cap uh, under any IC or inside of the connector because the water. I'm going very low. Oh, my bad. Very low with air, 30. And the air I'm using is going to be 650. And this is a quick A61DW. Just removing all the dirt that probably is inside of the connector I hope you guys can see it how the dirt is coming out Let's clean it. Looking better. Looking a little bit better, right? Just a little bit. Okay, now the first thing we're going to check is if everything is connected to something. That's the first thing I need to check. So I'm going to put my my probes, my multimeter in dial mode, and I'm going to check each side of any capacitor resistor I found there. Let me... I'm going to meet him. Okay. So let's check here. 
Okay. Five thirty feels good. For this is ground. This one is five forty four. Perfect. Five six two. Five forty six. And this is okay. No, this is not right. One fifty nine is the same of this. No, I'm going to use my let's check here. What I'm measuring right now is this. What I'm getting one ninety three on this ground. Oh, there you go. This is ground. Five, five, five. I got here. Five, five, seven. Ground. Four, two, two. This is ground. And here I'm getting five, five, eight. Now let's go with this patch. I don't, this is a speaker. There's only one ground. It's a second pad. Everything else should have values. Let me show you here. There you go. I six two. I six two. I six. They are all the same. All those three. I six two two. Then we got here. The next three are the same. I six three. I six four. I six four. That's nice. Then the next three. Three, three here. Five, six, four. Five, six, four. Five, six, four. And then I'm guessing we have the next three. There you go. And we want to this three. Six, five. Five, six, five. Five, six, five. Now this one is ground. 749 okay so so far all this area right that is this area it looks to be good we already remove all the sulfate we clean it with alcohol and then we clean it with um, a little bit of flux it looks good now on the other side i don't see any problem everything looks good of course we have to clean everything at the end now these capacitors over here they look to be a little bit affected 436 442 they look good no issue this is my camera memory and this is my camera ac they all look good so far now this is the area that concerns concerns me the most and that let me show you here that the u8400 and what the u8400 are works with the backlight it creates the pbbl so lcd backlight so this is my backlight ic Uh, not the backlight is by itself, but it belongs to that circuit. Actually, it is. It is. 8400 and Q8400. Uh, U8400 and Q8400 create PPB out as OLCD backlight. This means that it is the backlight. See, this is the backlight circuit. 
It's very important. We need it. And it's very sensitive. This is a very sensitive IC. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to check that everything is properly connected and that my patch are good. A little bit this. Do we go like this? Let me see. I think this is the best. Yep, it looks almost done. Perfect. Now it looks good. Okay. Now it looks good. What a mess. Okay, let's check that there all the patch are good. They look good over here. Let's go with this. Okay, now let's apply flux. And on this one, because it's not a connector, we're going to apply a little bit more of heat and air. On this one, I do want the, the solder to, to melt. My air is going to 36 and my heat goes to my normal heat is going to be on this one. Let me put 860. There you go. Smells sweet. Whatever they put on this computer smells smell sweet. I'm gonna lift it to see if there's any pad damage under it, under the U3400. Everything looks good. Okay. I don't see any pad damage, anything broken. So it could be a lot of things damaged, but nothing visual. Because let's clean and retest everything. Let's test if the computer works. It doesn't. 
And then what we're going to do, we are going to start to test to see what's damage. I think it looks a little bit better than before. However, I think this one we have to go for a second round in the ultrasonic. Okay, that really looks good. Let me clean here at the bottom. Looks very good. I forget we, we have to test. We have to be sure that nothing is short. There's not short circuit. One, that's good. One here, same pad, six thirty five. So we have this one, uh, it's ground, it's ground, okay, oh, let me show you here, so the one that we was, it was the one I touched, it, that is ground. Six, nine, four. 441, 441, 5 to 7, 5 to 1, 5 to 20, 5 to 21, 442, 421. Which pad is, oh, that pad is ground. This is the one I'm touching. Uh, this is not present c8442 let's check check it out uh, and it said no stuff here so it's mean that it's not part of this circuit five to seven be sure there is a yeah it's ground two four 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 ground Four four five four four five five one nine five two nine one seven three eight everything looks good so far and there's nothing to change we're very lucky But somebody who couldn't find any issue. So I think we are good to test. This look is good. Let's connect everything and let's test the, test the logic board. Maybe uh, when I tested at the beginning of the video, it was more like um, the fan didn't spin. Well, on, on this computer, it's not always a spin. 
Give me one second. Okay, so sorry, I, I got a call. So what I was saying is, um, at the beginning, uh, what I was testing the computer, it could be that the computer was on, but because the backlight issue, it wasn't showing anything. That's why we have, we were getting the right um, amps and voltage, but no screen. That could be the reason why. I, I, there's more tests to do when it's like that. You can connect it to external turnable. You try to see caps lock is working. You apply a little bit of heat to, to the sensor to see the fan stars and CPU activity. But at this point, because I knew there were water damage on the computer, I didn't spend more time testing it. I just knew that we need to fix the issues on the logic board and then retest the computer. Now, if the computer have the same behavior, then I will do the those tests I'm I'm talking about. Okay, let me connect the USB. It's it's on, nice and bold. Fan is moving. Let me see if I have any screen. I think the screen is on. It is on. We should see the folder in any moment from now. Caps lock is working. You see green. Let me see how I show you. How can I show you? There and that's my playing folder. So that was the only thing. Now my my and let me show you the values. Before remember it was one. 2.2, it went to 2.2, 2.5, and went low to 1.7, and it was the same 20 volts. Right now, it's the same, it was 19 something, so nothing was consuming. I think now, because the screen is on, we got the 2.7 amps and 18.95 volts. So this computer should be good to go now. However, I need to keep it on observation a couple of days because it was water damage. But very simple repair. It was, oh my God, this camera, why is failing? Give me one second. Oh, there you go. I don't know. Something is wrong. I need to check. So basically the idea of this video was to check how you deal with water damage. Okay. You just not start to replace like crazy. What I did is I clean with alcohol. Then I put flux. I apply a little bit of heat, depending on what part of this, of the logic board you're applying different heat and air pressure. Okay. And then you clean it. And then what I did is I test before I went directly to, to try again, I test all the point with diode mode and then to see if something was shorted, nothing is short computers on. And of course there's more tests to do cameras, keyboards, batteries, speakers, the ports. But my point on this one is to turn on the computer. Okay. So that's it, guys. It was a very short uh, video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it, it, it works for you. And anything else that you need, you have my WhatsApp. You can text me or call me. Any social media, I'm there. And then you can see it. Please comment, share, and subscribe. Okay. That's it, guys. Thank you.